Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 19 of the practice exam 1, which covers chapter 1, 2 and 3. In the previous problem, I stated the problem number as 30, but keep in mind it is problem number 20. So solve the following system of equations, 5x plus 4y equal to 12, 2x plus 5y equal to 15. We will name the two equations as equation 1 and 2 for our reference. So we are going to do uh, this problem by elimination or addition method. In this method, we have to at a time eliminate one of the variables um, by making the coefficients of the variable equal and opposite. So in order to do that, we will make, we will find out the LCD of 5 and 2 which is 10. So we will multiply the first equation by 2 and the second equation by negative 5 so that we will have 10x in the first equation and negative 10x in the second equation. So we will multiply the first equation by positive 2 and the second equation by negative 5. That way when you distribute you will get a 10x and a negative 10x in the second equation. So we will distribute that will be 10x plus 8y equal to 24. That is again equation 1 but is rewritten. For the second one it is negative 10x and negative 25y equal to negative 75. Now we will add equation 1 and 2. So 10x, negative 10x, they get cancelled out. 8y minus 25y, that will be negative 17y equal to 24 minus 75. If you add, that will be negative 51. Now we are going to divide both sides by negative 17 to isolate the y. So you get y equal to negative over negative that makes it positive. 17 goes into 51 three times. So y equal to 3. Now we are going to substitute this value y in either equation 1 or 2, the original equation 1 or 2, to get the value of x. Substitute y equal to 3 in equation 1. So equation 1 is 5x plus 4y. We are going to substitute that y equal to 3 here equal to 12. So get 5x plus 12 equal to 12. So 5x if you move the 12 to the other side, it becomes minus 12. So that makes the right hand side 0. If we divide both sides by 5, you get x equal to 0. So x equal to 0 and y equal to 3. So when you write down the solution, you can write x equal to 0 or y equal to 3. Or you can write... That is an ordered pair in the order x comma y, x is 0, y is 3. This is a solution to the problem. Hope this video helps.